What's up guys, Lego here with Dyna Demos bringing you episode three of the FXR series. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I messed up in episode one of the FXR series where I rebuilt my carb. The second thing I'm gonna do is I have to make a trip over to base because I forgot my ID on base and I just don't wanna run into any issues tomorrow when I'm trying to get to work super early in the morning. And the third thing I'm gonna do is install the parts that I talked about in episode two. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned for the video. And if you guys end up liking the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. So I just feel like I owe you a quick explanation of what went down in episode one. So I bought this bike about four months ago when I was on deployment in Japan, Japan Stan as I like to call it, just cause it makes me feel like I was actually deployed. Anyways, uh, it sat for four months. So when I get back, I drain all the fuel, I go to start it uh, after I put fuel in it, obviously, and it ran, it just kept dying. So I hit up a local shop, they're like, hey, you need to rebuild your carb. And I was like, cool. So he sold me a kit for 40 bucks. I came home, I rebuilt the carb and I installed it to the best of my knowledge. Well, I was missing a few things and that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. And the way that I found out that I was missing installing a few things was one of the subscribers, one of you guys hit me up and was like, hey, you idiot, you didn't hook this up and that's probably why your bikes run like crap. So I appreciate the honesty, thank you. For those of you guys that were not caught up on the series, in episode one, what I did was I had to rebuild the car because my bike sat for a long time. So I had a few questions and concerns about things that I wasn't quite sure of that I thought I figured out. But then after posting the video, one of the subscribers, Thackeray, hit me up and was like, hey, that's actually not a vent line. That is supposed to be for a... a that is supposed to be for a vacuum line. So that might be why your bike's running like crap. And I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. I'm dumb. So shout out to that dude for helping me out. So right here is the culprit. I thought this was a vent line, but it's actually for a vacuum fuel tap for if you have a vacuum fed uh, pet cock. So I do not, so this line should be capped because there's gonna be no line going to it. Now, if you look back here, there's another fuel line, if my camera will focus, but there's another uh, vacuum line. This is for the Vose system, which I'm not gonna talk about because I haven't read up on it, but from my understanding, uh, it goes into timing and things like that, and it's also very important. So make sure this is also hooked up this one should not be capped. Um, so there was my issue right there. And then also at the end of that video, I was pretty concerned about this line right here, but this is actually just an overflow for fuel. So not nearly as important as the uh, vacuum lines, I'd say in terms of how your bike is gonna perform. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure this line is capped and then I also am gonna add hose clamps to uh, the vacuum line here, just to make sure that they're extremely tight. So there's not gonna be any leakage. So my bike quits running like crap. And if you guys were wondering where I picked up the hardware to do this, I just went to a, a local AutoZone store and I picked up some vacuum hose caps and there's a bunch of different sizes and some hose clamps. So that's where I got those. So I figured out that I could turn the light on when I record. Anyways, I added the vacuum cap to the vacuum fitting. Um, so like I said before, this is for a vacuum type uh, pet cock. If you have one, I do not. The easy way to tell is if you have two fittings coming off your pet cock. I only have one for the, for the main fuel line. And then right back here, this fuel line or this vacuum line, excuse me, is for the Vose system, which is hooked up back there. I checked over the whole line as Thackeray said that I should, and uh, it doesn't have any holes in it or anything. So I think we're good to go on that. I just wanted to add this uh, just to make sure it's not leaking at all. 
I looked around the whole carb. Um, everything seems tight still, nothing leaking. Uh, no fuel came out of this either. I think fuel is only supposed to come out of this if it starts overflowing. So that might actually be a good sign. So next thing I need to do guys is heat this thing up by going out and riding, which I'm gonna go pick up my ID. So it started, I just need to let it warm up a little bit. I'm still messing with uh, the thing that people call the choke, but uh, when I was watching the SNS video, they said that it wasn't actually a choke. I'm just trying to get it warmed up and see where, uh, where the RPM's gonna sit. It's hard to tell right now if it got any better or not. I'm not too sure, because I think I need to let my bike warm up and then adjust the idle again. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit my buddy up, tell him I'm on the way. I'm gonna go pick that up, come back, and then adjust the idle, and we'll see if it dies still or not after it's warmed up. Uh, went to go start my FXR, and I got it running, as you guys seen, and then I uh, turned it off for some reason, and then it would not start again because the battery was dead story of my life so I already told I had already told my buddy you know that I was on my way so I just uh, put it in the garage put it on the trickle charger and jumped on my reliable bike and now I'm headed back to see if I get the FXR to start and then I'm gonna take it around PB and once I do that I'm gonna get back and adjust the carb but yep yeah, that is why I'm on my Dyna and not my FXR warming it up so I shut off my bike go to start it back up and it's dead so I may also need a battery uh, I need to look at the date on this one hopefully it has a date on it uh, so I can see I think it's probably just uh, just going dead yeah, it's whatever uh, as to be expected but anyways headed to a cooler spot so it doesn't even matter I'm headed to Sunset Cliffs cuz I'm gonna ride this thing anyways Although I'm not going to turn it off because I'm afraid of getting stranded right now and I just can't handle that right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ride to Sunset Cliffs. You guys can check that out. It should be pretty cool. Uh, when I get back, I'll show you guys adjusting the idle. Uh, after that, I am done for the day and I will continue the video tomorrow and install those components I was talking about and that should finish up the video. Uh, but yeah, it's been a rough day. Uh, bike wise anyways I've had a few heartbreaks uh, and that was definitely one of them but I'm riding it now so that's all right this is a spot that I was talking about if you're in uh, San Diego come check it out I'm um, feeling kind of dangerous I might even stop and uh, take a picture we'll we'll see how I'm feeling uh, there's a spot up here I got in mind if no cars there I may stop feeling a little dangerous Will my bike start up again? Literally no idea. Look, some influencers right there. Pretty cool. That's all California is, influencers. I'm not an influencer, I swear. Uh, beautiful houses though, check this out. Can't even imagine how much money they are. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna get picked. When my bike start back up, literally nobody knows. But it's idling. Uh, no, a little bit, a little bit. All right, that one's for the gram. Let's get back on the road. Uh, who wants to take bets if it's gonna start or not? A little nervous. Little nervous. Ha 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 ha. 
Say something for the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that light's strong now. <sighs> Watch this sweet puppy dog. Mm, you're the fucking champ. I love you. I'll buy you a beer. Are you old enough to drink? Yes. All right. All right, dude. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you. I love you. So I just experienced something that probably every FXR owner has experienced. My first time getting stranded. Uh, luckily it was somewhere beautiful and not too far from home. Uh, battery was completely freaking dead. Got a new one. Uh, shout out to Rod for getting me one. And also came back and my bike was warm and guess what? It didn't freaking die. So I didn't even adjust the idle at all. It's sitting a little bit higher than a thousand RPM. I'm good with that. Thank you, Thackeray, for making me smarter and get me right with the carb. Otherwise, my bike would probably still run like crap. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I got today. I'm freaking done. Tomorrow, I'll install those parts, and that's it. All right, guys, let me tell you what went wrong and why I haven't filmed for two days. So I took my bike to Sunset Cliffs to go warm it up after doing all that stuff to my carb so I could adjust the idle after and just to see if it was running good. And stupid of me, I knew the battery was dying, but I took it out anyways. And I was like, I'm not gonna stop for a picture. And guess what I did? I freaking stopped to try to take a picture, went to go start my bike and freaking nothing. Luckily, I was in the local San Diego area. So I had one of the dudes I work with rescue me. So I'm gonna finish this video strong. I'm gonna install a few parts and then that's gonna be the end of FXR series episode three and then stay tuned for the next video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the parts I'm about to install. Uh, next, I'm gonna throw on some thrashing pegs cause if you guys look, those are super whack. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw on some chrome covers cause I don't really like these are just black covers. I kind of want to chrome this bike out and leave it red. So I'm going to throw all that on now. So stay tuned. So there it is. I think it looks a lot better with the chrome cover. Got the thrashing pegs already on it. If you guys liked the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for episode four. I'm out.